and be among those who prostrate. فَسَبِّهِ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ بُكْرَةً وَاسِيلًا وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسْجُدْ لَهُ وَسَبِّهُ لَيْلًا طَوِيلًا In the early surahs, you know, these instructions have been coming. فَسَبِّهِ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ So you should go on glorifying your Lord and with praise. تَسْبِهِ with praise. سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَبِحَمْدِهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ This is the last hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari. Last hadith. قلمتان حبیبتان الى الرحمن خفیفتان على اللسان سقیلتان فی المیزان سبحان اللہ و بحمده سبحان اللہ العظیم There are two kalimat which are very heavy in the scales on the day of judgment they will have very high weight very heavy weight but they are very light on the on the tongue you can just go on repeating and they are very loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kalimatane, habibatane ila rahman, saqilatane fil mizan, khafifatane ala lisan, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-azim. Glory is all for Allah and He is with all His praise. Fasabbe bihamdi rabbika wa kum minas sajideen. Now this is the remedy, the hurting that is coming to you. Now this will give you the cooling, you know. The solace that is required for your, your feelings are hurt and injured. But this is the, this is the medicine that we are prescribing for you. You'll be able to endure all these things, bear all these things. You'll be able to persevere. How? فَصَبِّهْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَاتِيَ كَلْيَقِينَ And go on obeying your Lord, worshipping Him, loving Him, serving Him. Till... Yaqeen comes to you. Now some of the mystics, you know, they have taken this in the literal sense, Yaqeen. As if Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi himself had not got the Yaqeen up till that now. So this is not acceptable at all. So this Yaqeen has been interpreted by most of the Mufassirin as death. The most certain thing for a human being is death. Nothing else is absolutely certain. Except so yaqeen means death. Till death you have to go on doing it. And that is why we see that the Prophet ﷺ in his last days also, you know, some of the mystics, you know, of certain order, they give up praying. Now it is not necessary for us. We have already purified our souls. So actually all these things are required for the beginners. No prayer, nothing of this. Muhammad ﷺ kept praying till the last day, you know. So actually all these things. Wa'abud rabba ka hatta yati ka liqeen. You have to continue this praying and glorification of Lord and praising Him and prostrating before Him till death. And the other meanings which have been taken are till the end of the disbelievers, till that azab comes, that is also certain that this they are going to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikr al-Hakeem. الله أكبر الله أكبر. The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. 